This is not undetectable lace. My story is told, honey. All oh, my secrets have been revealed. I've already taken her out the plastic and let me just tell y'all, this was an impulse buy for me because here I was, I said I wasn't gonna buy any more wigs because I already had three that I wanted to review for you all. I get onto Instagram and Gladys, my girl from Is That Your Hair, had this baby on and I was like, listen, I need that in my life. So I ordered it that same day and now I have it and I'm gonna review it for you guys and let you guys know my own thoughts. I'm gonna go ahead and put the style card up here in the corner so you guys can take a look. Um, and right now, what I can tell you, the style number, it doesn't have a name, but it's GL201 and it's of course by GoGo, the Ultra HD undetectable lace. The color I got is FS430. Let's go ahead and just take this out and take a look. Right off the bat though, I see that the, the strands of the wig are very fine, which tells me that when the wind blows, it's gonna be getting caught up in that lip gloss. So I would say for this one already, girls, make sure you wear matte lipstick or you're gonna be annoyed for the rest of the day. Don't, don't wear your gloss out. Don't wear it out or you're gonna, you're gonna be mad. There is a single part in the middle, so it's to be worn as a middle part. So it's the standard wig cap, as you can see inside. It has the adjustable straps in the back. The cap, it looks kind of small, but let's go ahead and put it on and see. All right, y'all, so I had to change locations because my family is just loud, okay? So here, let's do it. Ooh, chat. Ooh, before I even fix her, she, y'all, ooh, let's go ahead, let's fix it. Now, I'm not gonna glue her down or anything today because it's like 8.30 at night and she's not going anywhere, so we don't have to do all that. So, as you guys can see, I have an oval face. So, I wish for this particular wig that they did like a 13 by 6 cap. That would have been great because then you have the option to, you know, part on the side if you want. I'm not really a big fan of middle parts for myself. I think it accentuates the five head, you know what I mean? And I don't mind my five head, I think it's wonderful i don't want it necessarily to be like hey notice the top of my five head <laughs> you know what i mean it's just not what i want so for me i would actually tilt the wig to the side but before i do i just want to show you guys something else that's i'm that i'm noticing this wig is pretty snug so if you are at 22 and a half and up inches as far as um head circumference you're gonna be in trouble because with my wig grip plus the wig it's a little tight and if you have hair all around now mind you I only have hair at the top of my head so that's not even a factor for me but if you have cornrows all around your head that is gonna be a factor for you as far as if you have a big head my small head girls it'll be perfect for you I have the adjustable straps on the outermost loops so it's as loose as it can be without taking off the adjustable straps and I feel like if I didn't have my wig grip on the wig would steadily be sliding back so the wig grip is keeping it in place another thing for me um, that I notice is my hair but again this is a common issue for me because my hairline comes forward a little bit um, I always get a little bit of peakage out um, out of the sides I don't necessarily mind that um, especially because my sides are shaved but if I were to start letting my hair or my sides grow out a little longer like let's say I'm four weeks past haircut time it might be a problem for me if the wind blows you know what I mean um, I do need to cut a little bit more lace off here but if the wind happens to blow my story is told, honey. All well, my secrets have been revealed. I would definitely have to glue this one down. We need our glue spray. So as you can see, my ears are covered. So now, of course, I'm gonna take my ear out. But if you look, if you can see, if you look, this this part is digging into the back of my ear. That is gonna be very uncomfortable for me. So I would definitely have to adjust the wig in such a way that it's up high enough in the back but then it's not gonna feel like it's on as snug as it should be. I'm still gonna shift my wig to the side, so just so it's kind of slightly, um, a slight side part. Um, but then the issue becomes, 
my ear tab area is going to be now up here. So if I happen to adjust my hair or anything like that and I haven't glued it down, it's going to be noticeable. So that's probably the biggest con of this wig is that even though she is gorgeous, she does not give you any parting space. And that's what we like these days. We want parting space. We want options. And she kind of takes away our options. So I'm pretty sure there is another kinky straight wig out there that will give you the 13 by 6 at minimum of parting space. I did brush her as well and I did get some shedding. That's about how much hair I got out. This is pretty significant to me. I still have some like on my legs and stuff as I'm sitting here and just make sure you give her a good brush before you wear her for the very first time because you know when they sew this stuff it's probably some loose hairs in there anyway. So it's hitting right below the bust line and it in the back she's hitting just just above the booty if you like it long and thick this one's for you get your mind out of the gutter All right so at the end of the day i paid 35 dollars on elevatestyles.com for this wig so am i mad about you know the lace not being undetectable for the price that i paid no take my coins and give me this wig because she is absolutely beautiful you have your powders in your and your sprays and stuff like that and you can make those adjustments the only con the only real con for me is that this wig cap is a little snug it digs in the back of my ears but you know i'll i'll figure out some adjustment for that i think i would need to just flatten it down a little bit toward the back i would want it to lay down just a little bit more but other than that there's not a whole lot of adjustment i would do to this wig because she is absolutely beautiful all right y'all so in closing the major con was probably just about three things the the lace does feel a little scratchy around the hairline but that could just be me that could just be my issue um but the lace is definitely detectable i think what i would do is probably cut like a little divot to make it a little less detectable but i've seen better hd lace finally i would like to see a 13 by 6 parting space i mean i don't think there's too much to ask these days with all the wig technology and all the options but for the price point you can't really be mad at it she is a definite winner y'all so do not pass go don't collect two hundred dollars spend 35 and get yourself this wig because you need it in your life i'm telling you anyway y'all thank you so much for tuning in i hope you enjoyed this i was about to say tutorial i hope you enjoyed this review and i'll talk to you soon bye